Welcome back, nice to see you. We're out the front today because we've had some work done we thought you'd like to see. We've had a new driveway put in. Oh, Ted's coming with you. <laughs> so what do you think? We've had it extended a little bit, so there's more room for the cars. Teddy, off the road. Come here. Come on. Good boy. And we've put some planters outside as well. Now these look a little odd at the minute, but they need to grow. Then they'll be all right. We've had heaps and heaps of rain, so it really needs sweeping again now because all the sand has come up. That's a husband job. <laughs> Isn't it always? <laughs> uh, we've lost Teddy. He's here. Okay. I'll put this here. And a hanging basket for a bit of colour. And we've just put these two tubs on the neighbour's gravel, <laughs> just for a bit of colour. <laughs> they did say it was okay. Yeah, so the front's looking better now. It's been a mess for donkey's years. Yeah, a bit different now. It is a bit different now. Yeah. Very different. Just seems clean and fresh now. Okay, the back. Make sure Ted follows you. Yeah, let's shut the gate. They've had all the fence fixed as well. Where are you, Ted? Come on. Yeah, when I'm ready. Come on, quick. <laughs> Come on. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Noisy birds today. Yeah, <laughs> we can have some accompaniments today, so sorry about the noise. So here we are, here's the garden. Coming back to life. Yeah, should we start here? Fig tree growing again. These dahlias were last year, but they're coming back. And my book's ball, but I just can't get them to look round, so they're just going to be whatever shape they want, really. I think this is a um, calla lily and an arum lily over there. So, look at the hanging basket. Now, those are winter violas, the winter ones. <laughs> They're still doing brilliantly, so I'm not changing them, not until they start to go over. The tulips have all gone now. The rain killed them off, I'm afraid. <laughs> A new acquirement. We just saw the neighbours. We, they were going to take this to the tip, and I said, you can't take it to the tip. I can put plants in it. So I saved it. <laughs> yeah, more rubbish for our garden, but it's nice. Um, still waiting for the lilac tree to flower, but it's getting there. Winter pansies. And I think these are more um, calla lilies. These were the hedging that we had out the front. So we took them out when we decided we were going to do the um, drive. Now we don't know what we're going to do with them. <laughs> so they're just going to stay there for a little while until we make a decision. You wanted to put them back, didn't you? But the neighbour has got some lights to put there, she said. So mm. they won't be going back in the front. Yeah, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> oh, birds. Shut I up. I know. They're really going <laughs> for it today, aren't they? Yeah. This is a new... Saw this when I went shopping at Lidl, so I bought it. <laughs> it's only two ninety nine. Hammer lupins. So this is a new one I bought, a white one, because whatever one was there died. 
so I wanted to replace it. But the aphids have attacked them. So I did spray it. It doesn't look as if they like being sprayed, but I haven't killed it. It's got new growth down there. And this one looks like it's got new growth as well. These little baby ones were over in the other trough. So one of the lupins I had over there must have self-seeded and the seeds blown into the trough. So I dug them out and put them in here. I think this one's dead. It's not doing anything. So I'm going to have to pull that out and maybe get another one to put just there. So, but look at Adrian's clematis. Ready to pop. Yeah, it's going to be a good show this year. Yeah, and we've got extra stems now. Do you remember I put dahlias in here last year? Mm. Little dahlias. Um, they didn't come back this year because of the weather, I'm assuming. We had some really harsh weather, didn't we? So it's just got those in. And look at the size of the buds. I've put a little robin in there. <laughs> Pity you don't frighten these noisy birds away. I know. Oh, they're <laughs> I know, they're crazy. Yeah, <laughs> oh, well. <I> care. Yeah. <laughs> no. We oh. never used to get magpies around this neck of the woods. And now, Is that what they are, magpies? I think they are, yeah. Oh, now they're noisy. just everywhere. Yeah. We just seem to be under date with birds. They use their cars as target practice nowadays. Very <laughs> yeah, annoying. they are. My son's not impressed, is he? This I thought was dead, this azalea, because it was this brown colour everywhere. But I cut a lot of it out and it seems to have shot, shooted again. So we've got some pink, but it's not healthy, it's not happy. I, I'm wondering if it needs to come out of that pot, it's been in it for donkey's years. So I've got a new dahlia here, a purple and white one. My heucheras are not doing very well. You'll see as we go round, one of them was on its last legs. So I dug it out and split it all up. And it's taken, it's growing. So this is a new one that I put in there the other day because it was just not doing very well. So we'll see. Euphorbia here. This euphorbia was just an array of leaves like that. My dad said, I don't know what it is. It was in my garden. I didn't put it there. You can have it. And look at it. Crazy. Doing well. Yeah. These need a trim now. This dahlia in the garden did survive and it's come back. Okay. This is a new heucheria. So at the moment that's doing okay. This, do you remember? went completely brown and I just cut it right off. It was up here last year and I just cut it off thinking it was dead. But it's come back hibiscus, isn't it? And we've got some flowers on here. So that's good. And over here, I've got some alliums, the purple head up there, just about to pop. And I did have some anemones, but they've gone over now by the look of it. Look at the colour of this, Spirea, gorgeous. Got a new addition, haven't we? A new rose tree, a peach coloured one just here. And there is a rose bush behind it, but it's being covered by the growth from these blooming trees. <laughs> Gonna have to get back in there with the secateurs. Yeah. Oh, I've got a new salvia just there because I think ours died. It didn't look very healthy. And that's coming. That's growing all right. It's taken okay. What else? What else is doing good? The uh, ajuga, the blue stuff here is... Because if you remember, I pulled it all out because it was... Everywhere. And it's come back with a vengeance. Um, this is a Veronica, a white one. And here's my hydrangea that I saved <laughs> from the 
garden centre. It was on the clearance rack, looked about dead, but I could just see some green, so I knew it was all right. Mr R's coleus doing really well. Trouble is, the lemon and lime hebe, the flowers are the same. So they kind of blend into one. You've got a big show of purple then. Job done. Yeah, yeah. There's that blooming bird. Where? Up there. Look, in that tree. I can't see it. Well, I can't. Oh, it's Bears it's... around. All it's right. probably mating. <laughs> Get a... Probably. Get an air rifle as they put an end to that. <laughs> <gasps> You'll upset people. Now look, here's another little um, heuchera. Look at it. It's just not happy. I don't know whether I should dig it up and try to put it in a pot for a little while to baby it along. I'll perhaps have to. Yeah. The peach tree had, it was smothered with blossom this year, so we're really hopeful that we're going to get some fruit. Oh, we've already got some. Look here. Mm. Three there. I can see loads now I'm looking. Ooh, that's good. I can hear bees as well. Yeah. God bless them. Oh, look, this one's coming back as well. They obviously didn't like that harsh weather, did they? But it's got green shoots all over it. Look at my lovely hosta. Last year, the um, slugs and snails feasted on it. There was nothing left of it. But this year, they've not touched it. And they all look one pretty just, good. Yeah. Oh, you're going to be happy. Oh, yeah. You know the fuchsia that we dug up out the back? Out the front, you mean? Uh, some, uh, sorry, out the front, yeah. Mm. And we popped it here. Yes. Look at the base. Yeah, it's coming back. It's growing. I'm not surprised. No, I'm not either, because it, it's... It was huge, wasn't it? Yes, this is being drowned, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's dear. very colourful, this corner. Yes. Yeah, with those purple bell drops or whatever these, they are. These, um... Aqualegia they are. Oh, like little bells. Behind it we've got a bleeding heart, a dicentra, so that's done well as well. It's doubled the size it was last year, but look at these hostas. They were tiny when I put them in them pots last year. And not now. No, that one won't survive another year in that small pot, I don't think. <laughs> Actually, I've got an empty pot back there. There you go. Maybe I should put it in that and put, get something for that pot. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the dead olive tree, as always, doing well. You're not going to be happy. I have taken half of it off. I noticed. Well, I was watching a man on YouTube, and if I can remember his name, I'll add it in. Trouble. Uh, That's his name. <laughs> and he, he, his olive tree was stunning. And he said he takes it right back by a third every year or whenever it needs it, and he cuts the top off. And it makes it bushy. So I thought, right, mine is so spindly, it's going to be hacked. <laughs> and yeah, in the Mediterranean, they leave them. They leave them. For years and years. Yeah. And they yeah. produce lovely fruit. Oh. That's looking good, that area. Yeah. Apart from our messy area, which is always messy. What's that? A yeah. messy area. <laughs> well, I've got the garden back now. I did clean the table this morning. Yeah, it's a constant job. That, that was covered in um, <laughs> little, little bird mess and there's always more unruly bushes even more unruly yeah than it usually is yeah it's gorgeous right the sand there because we've had so much rain the poor plants were drowning so i've put half a bag of sand down to soak up rain and hopefully they'll be all right this is in but look as well what is this a cistus but look at that it's got buds all over it and hostas hiding again. Look at the hostas, yeah. Oops, oh, I, mean, I love hostas. hostas coming up at the back there as well. Yeah, there is a big one there. Look, is that called elephant ears or something? The one mm -hmm. Let's go under just there. Yeah. And the sun coming up there. Um, no, that's. Oh, oh, there's another hosta there, look. Mm. Oh, crikey, I didn't know there was one there. There's so much hidden under here, it's unbelievable. There is. Look at the um, clematis, that's in bud as well at the back on the trellis. <laughs> <laughs> Now this heuchera seems to be fine, and so does that one. Yeah, it, it's bizarre this area because it's so waterlogged most of the year, but yeah. everything just seems to grow here. Yeah. You wouldn't expect it. 
The Stilbys love it. I had to move a Hugo from under there because mm. you just couldn't see it. Even walking there underfoot. It's spongy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's absolutely sodden. But yeah. <sighs> now, the red jasmine, somebody said you're supposed to chop it down by half every year. And I didn't know. And I've just let it go. So we're not going to get any flowers this year. Yeah. So I'll chop it down at the end of the spring. But look at this heuchera. Now, but that, that's two or three years old. It should be a lovely mound. But it's just not doing anything. I've taken all the dead off and I'm hoping it'll be all right. But I don't know. This is Phlox. That's got its little candy, I think it's called. Yeah. And can you see this, Aid? Let me bring the punters in. Yep. Right. I remember buying that five or six years ago when I went out with my friend Maria and put it in the garden and I can't remember what it's called and never saw it again. This year, it's coming up. Mm. So if anybody knows what that's called, can you let me know in the comments? Because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, so my Wygelia's coming back. Mm -hmm. And Ted's doing something I don't know what he's there. doing. Oh, he's, he's obviously he's, found some sort of smell on there. I think bird muck. No, I would say, yeah. He's either yeah. rolling in bird muck or a cat's been on there. Yeah, oh, well we do have a white cat coming. <sighs> I hope you're not messy, dog, as you'll be having a bath. <laughs> Yeah. It perhaps wouldn't hurt him to bath anyway, because... Uh... <laughs> yeah, so there's another heuchera here, and again, it's just not happy. I just don't know what to do. No, but this be tiny water. plumbago is coming back at the bottom, though, but again, that didn't look very happy, but well, I did chop that back by half. It may half. just be the water that's there. That's a bit better draining there, but yeah, it still is. wet. Yeah, So, yeah, everything is looking good. The rose came back, which I'm pleased about, this one. Just here. Mm -hmm. It's looking healthy, got lots of new fresh shoots on it. And I think that's it, isn't it? Just about. I think so. Yeah. So, that's a tour around our garden. We're in the UK um, on the East Coast. Oh, well, few miles in from the east coast east midlands they east call midlands, it they call well, it not sure we're not really accurate. midlands we're no. more that way but yeah so we think we're a zone 8 8b ish not 100 percent sure but yeah but yeah so the garden's coming back to life beautifully i'm really pleased with it this year so i hope your gardens are all blossoming <laughs> enjoy your gardens have fun bye oh.